Hello, my name is Luis Gomez and this is my automatic plant watering system. So as you can see right here, we have the plant connected up to my little funny Arduino box right here. We have the LCD currently working, as you can see the moisture level is automatically updating. And basically the way this works, pretty cool. Uh, the moisture sensor reads the moisture level of the soil right now. And as you can see right now, it's reading about 557-ish. Uh, here in my apartment, the dry air reads about 590. So the, uh, the soil is pretty dry right now but it's not turning on and that's because of the threshold, which I set. Um, and the way that works is that so long as the moisture level is below the threshold, um, the pump won't turn on. So I can go ahead and change that by going to the moisture level changer menu and I can press the numbers from zero to nine and that'll change by multiples of 10. So 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, let's do like 55, I can also use the up and down arrows to change it by intervals of one. And so the way I exit that is the volume plus button. And as soon as I exit this, the pump will turn on here, my beautiful looking pump setup will turn on and water the plant. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And as you can see, well, I guess you can't really see. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, it turned on, if you couldn't hear it, the pump turned on, watered the plant for about 2.5 seconds. And right now I have it set to cool down for about 10 minutes just to let the water kind of settle. Um, because if you, it'll just keep running. See, the way it works is because the piping, the way the piping is set up, uh, the water won't autom automatically moisturize the entire soil. So I allow it about 10 minutes to just see if it can get around the whole pot if it can. And then it reads it again right here, but it's in cool down time right now. <laughs> uh, and if it ends up uh, still being below the threshold, or sorry, above the threshold, um, then it'll turn on again, turn on for another two and a half seconds-ish. And I'll just keep running through this, automatically updating. I can also just go ahead and exit this by using my e-stop. So if I press this, it'll automatically exit. And even though the moisture, actually the moisture level is <laughs> below the threshold, but even if the moisture level was above the threshold, um, meaning the pump would need to turn on, it would stay off because of the e-stop, which is pretty cool. I can also uh, go ahead and use the user input again to automatically turn on the pump for another two and a half seconds. I chose two and a half seconds just to make sure that it doesn't over flood the whole pot because my plant pot's pretty small compared to like other ones. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it right now. And as you can hear it, it's currently going. And boom, you have water right there. Pretty cool. So yeah, uh, basically, the reason, the whole reason I made this project was because my friend uh, loves plants, but they're really bad at keeping them. <laughs> Uh, they just forget to water them sometimes. And so I figured, okay, maybe I can just make them like a little uh, automatic watering system for them. All they need to do is remember to uh, fill this up with water every now and then, like probably every <laughs> every few days or so, which shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. If if it's too hard for them, then I don't know how to help them, quite frankly. But as you can see right now, the moisture level is 397 uh, because the soil is pretty wet now. In other words, the plant is completely uh, hydrated. So yeah, this is my final project. Thanks, guys.